Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Gaming Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to hide the keyboard by pressing the return key while editing text in your text fields. So in the iPhone simulator here, I have an example of what we were creating today. We have a simple text field here and we can simply add text in at free will. And then we simply press the return key and it hides the keyboard all together. So I'll be showing you how to do this in your projects today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it text field return key for the purpose of this tutorial. Now basically what we need to do now is add a action button to enable us to press the return key for the keyboard to hide. Now, as this tutorial only revolves around using this action button, we won't need to add the outlet for our text field. So if you go into our view controller.h and just after the view controller, do bracket and press enter. I zoom in there so we can all see. And just after the second curly bracket there, we do dash bracket IB action. And in the select there we do simply name it return key button. And make sure it has the ID sender, and at the end of that, we do semicolon, and then we can save that. If I want to pause the video to catch up on that little bit of code, but now I'll just simply zoom out for you. And now we go into our view con controller.m, and just after the implementation, I'll press enter a few, quite a few times so it gives a fair bit of room and we can clearly see what we're typing out. So now we just type in the action, so we do dash bracket ID action, and we named it return key button, let's get rid of that there, so you have only one ID sender, and after the sender we do space, bracket and press enter, and then basically what we need to do now is resign the first responder, so do bracket, sender, space, resign, first responder, and then a bracket and a semicolon, and then save that, that is simply all the coding that is needed to hide the keyboard when it is shown. So once it's shown, it's going to simply resign the first responder and that automatically hides the keyboard. So if we zoom out now, go into our view controller.xib um, where we were dragging our text field. So just like in the simulator, I'll just make it wide at the top. And then click on files owner and in our actions here we have our return key. When we drag it to our text field and let go, we have all the actions here. Now if you do touch down, or any other form of touch. This means to cancel the keyboard, you must touch the keyboard again itself. But if we select did end on exit, this enables us to press the return key, which hides the keyboard, instead of just touching the text field. So when you add in your actions there, just make sure you do did end on exit for you to be enabled to hide the keyboard with the return key. So if make sure you selected the iPhone simulator, Press build and run, where you can see our project build and run on the iPhone simulator. So there should be no errors, as the code is pretty straightforward and there's nothing really too much or in detail to cause any errors, so we're just waiting for it to load now. Okay, and so now once it's loaded, we click on our text field, which brings up our keyboard and we can simply type in our text, just like normal. But then as soon as you hit our return key, our keyboard hides all together. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to leave us any feedback or if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, please feel free to send us a message or leave us a comment. All messages and comments are read by us. But in the meantime, make sure you like and favourite this video as it really does help us out getting more views and a wider audience to help more people out creating awesome apps for the iPhone and iPad. So make sure you share the video. And most importantly, if you haven't, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see, or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklem.com.
and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.